Uh, we welcome you into the studio, Dave Spadaro, joined by Eagles head coach Andy Reid. Good times here at the NovaCare Complex today. Congratulations on the win last night. You know, it was a, it was a really kind of, as you said after the game, an old-fashioned physical defensive game. I, I really enjoyed watching that game. Well, it was. It, it was. Uh, there were a lot of sore bodies today. I think on both teams, and and uh, rightly so. They they got out and they battled. Uh, it's important that everybody gets treatment so they can get back and get ready for uh, for the New England Patriots. Describe what you felt before the game in terms of how you felt your team's emotional level was. Can you can you tell before a game how up or how into it guys are? Well, you you do. You get a bit of a sense. Uh, not that you're always right. Uh, but I felt like they were ready to go. They had a good week of practice, and they carried that energy into into the game. And and uh, not everything's going to go right in the game, but they were able to work through uh, the things that went wrong uh, and maintain their energy level. When you evaluated Vince Young's play, what you how did you evaluate him? What specifically would you see him do well, and what did you see him not do well? I just think it was a matter of Vince catching up uh, to the speed of the game. It's a little different than going against a scout team, right? Uh, you're going against one of the best defenses in the National Football League. So when he when he got that kind of under control, I, I thought he did did fine. There were a few plays he'd like to have back, but I think the middle part of the game he was sharp with. Um, he handled all the play calls, which uh, this offense is very wordy with, and um, he handled the players well and managed uh, the the clock well and and did the things that you need to do to be a good quarterback in this league. Was he under center more than maybe Michael would have been under center as opposed to the shotgun? Not necessarily. We, okay. were, we really didn't change much uh, okay. uh, in the game plan. Riley Cooper hasn't caught a pass all year, and all of a sudden he's targeted 12 times. A matchup thing you saw with Riley? Just an opportunity, just, just not here, but just you saw just in general. Well, Riley no, was, you know, I, I joke Vince uh, that number 31 – was one of his Texas teammates. So go after him. So he was going to go after him. He, he didn't. He knew him better than anybody on the field. So all the strengths and weaknesses, and he he went after him. Um, uh, but that now listen, Riley was playing him, plays a Macklin. Mm-hmm. So that position catches balls, and and so Riley stepped in and did what uh, what he's supposed to do in this offense, and and was able to make some catches. Andy, when you looked at the eighteen play drive uh, this when you got back here late last night this morning. Uh, what struck you about the drive that was extraordinary? Well, probably the the six third down conversions. Really, five, and then the touchdown was a third down, also. But um, the you know, you're looking at Jason Avant's catch there. I mean, how, how nice was that? Yeah, uh, that was a Amazing. big play, and, one of the best I've ever seen. And then just uh, I, I didn't think anybody panicked. I thought everybody maintained their composure and and uh, made the plays they were supposed to make and. And and uh, you see the one with Deshaun there. He breaking a tackle. That's a that's a big thing. He played strong and physical there against a very good player. And um, but, but guys made plays. That's what they did. Is is Vince one of those kind of uh, cool as a cucumber personalities? Is that what you liked about him? Well, he sure was. Uh, he was very cool, and and I think the players sense that. Uh, your face. And your body language and your voice, those are all affecting that offense every snap when you get in that huddle and you call the play as a leader. So uh, whatever energy you bring will be reflected in that next play. And and you have a chance to touch everybody. And I thought he did a nice job with that. And you've been asked here over and over about Deshaun and how you handled Deshaun. And, I mean, you've been head coach here for 13 years. You've encountered every kind of personality. Your your philosophy on on personalities. How do you how do you manage all these guys? Well, they're they're all different, and uh, and Deshaun gets marked as a bad guy, and I don't think that's fair. I think he he's got a big heart, and he's he's really a kind person. Uh, he loves to play the game. He's a young guy. He's a young guy that's uh, in, in the limelight. So uh, we we're letting him grow. That's what you do, and they're they're going to be little blips there, but. You work through it, and uh, and you continue to go. But he brings great energy uh, to the football field and and to his teammates. His teammates like him like you would a little brother, and and uh, they're protective of him. But yet they're hard on him if if things don't go right. And that that's a good chemistry to have amongst uh, amongst your football team. Don't you think if you if you if you tried to program somebody like that, 
I mean, he plays with so much emotion, and he that he would be he would not be as good a football player if you reined that in, right? Right. Well, I remember at one of the press conferences, I I asked uh, everybody in that room that weighed 170 pounds to raise their hand. Well, not in that room. You're going to get many 170s, but uh, no, that's right. There, <laughs> there are not a lot of 170 pounders playing in this league, right? At, at the level that he plays at, and so uh, you've got to have a little something special, and you've got to have a certain attitude, and and uh, and he has that. He's able to make that work at a Pro Bowl caliber level, and, and that's a tribute to him and, and how he goes about his business. Has he always been that kind of that kind of High octane, and he loves he loves the attention. Has he always been like that? What well, that you know what he he plays the game uh, like he's playing in the backyard or out on the street, mm -hmm. and um, you know go cut off of uh, that light post over there, yeah. that type of thing. He just goes out and he he has fun and he plays, and it doesn't matter. Normally, the brighter the lights are, the more he steps up. So that's a, that's a great quality he's he has now. That's a great quality he's always had since he was in little league football. So, uh, yeah, we welcome that. We welcome that part of it. Andy, slowly but surely, the numbers for the defense are getting better, getting better, getting better. Consistency's growing, growing, growing. Um, t talk about the defense and the progress that you've seen, and in guys kind of embracing the scheme and, and feeling comfortable in it. Well, I think that's it. I, I think they're all getting to know each other. They're uh, Juan's uh, a demanding coach, and they're they're uh, understanding that and and what he wants done. Uh, they're understanding Jim Washburn's techniques on the defensive front, and everything kind of starts with that defensive line. Um, and he's a demanding coach, and so, uh, uh, but they, they're they're uh, embracing that and and playing well. We have some challenges as we go on here. So uh, in particular this week against Tom Brady, who's going to go down as one of the all-time best. So what a great challenge that is and and how you approach that is very important. What is Brady? What why is he so good? I mean, what, you know, from really the coaching perspective. Well, he, he first of all, he knows the offense like the back of his hand and he um he's going to get he's not going to hang out on the football. That ball's coming out fast. He's got good quick receivers. And so uh and a good offensive line. He's got the big tight ends that they utilize quite a little bit, so you've got that size matchup that you've got to be concerned with and uh, but most of all, he knows where to go with the football and how to get it out uh, quickly. Mm -hmm. do, do teams use two tight ends as much as the Patriots do? They they seem to use it a lot with Gronkowski and Hernandez. Yeah, there are a couple teams that do that, but they use it as effectively as anybody. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, hey, uh, congrats on the win last night, and uh, uh, good luck in your preparation this week. Big game on Sunday against the Patriots. Happy Thanksgiving. And Likewise, boys. Get, get some a, rest, Let's man. get a victory. All okay, right. Andy Reid in studio here on PhiladelphiaEagles.com.